Most parents would be happy to leave their children with a male carer. That's according to research for the Daycare Trust. But only one person in 30 who works in childcare is a man. Well, now one council in Surrey is trying to encourage more men to take jobs in nurseries by getting the ones who do work there to talk about what they do. We heard from Sean Roberts, who works at the Friends Day Nursery in Guildford. I'm Sean Roberts. I'm 18 years old, work at Friends Day Nursery. Um, I look after preschools, so they're aged two to five, and I'm an early years practitioner. I thought it was just the easiest job in the world, just you come, play with children and go home, but it's, it's actually not. There's so much more to that. Where you've got all the educational sides, so you like you've got to teach them their sounds and numbers. It's not all about the you go and play with the children. Jump! Oh. It's good for the children to have men working in childcare. Quite a few parents are not with their, they're not together anymore, and they just having a male role model in nursery is just it's good for the children. And we can do different. Like we play, I play football with them, and some women might not want to play football, and it's just they sort of do different activities. And they, oh, they love it. I get every morning. I get boys coming and saying, "Oh, Sean's here." Ready? What's a graph below? You're always out in the like out, outside. You're not stuck in an office. You like office jobs. You come in. You just do the same thing. You're just writing on the computer here. You just do everything. It's different every day. Two of my friends have out asked me how to get into it, and the others are just like, "It's a brilliant job." On went the mouse. Oh, I love it. I come Friday ends, and I'm just waiting for Sunday to hurry up and come and up for work Monday morning. I just love coming in. Sean's experience. Why are there so few male childcare workers? Kate Grocart is from the Daycare Trust. Dan Wadey is the manager of the Butterhill Playgroup. And uh, Dan actually set up that, didn't you, Dan, when you wanted to work in, in childcare? But Kate, first, very few men seem to want to go into it. Why is that? Well, I think it is a career that is still traditionally seen as women's work. So right from the start, boys perhaps aren't being encouraged to think about it when they're in their early teens, thinking about their career options. And if they do think they might enjoy it, they're perhaps worried what their friends and family might say, worried that they wouldn't be accepted. Um, I think the other factor is that it has been traditionally a, quite a low-paid, low-status job, um, although that is changing and it is now a real defined career. But that's perhaps put some men off in the past. Dan, what is the reaction of, of, the, of the parents uh, to you? Because it is an unusual sight. How do they respond? It is. Um, generally, parents are fantastically um, excited about me being there. Lots of parents at Butterhill you know, love me being um, involved in working with the children. Um, there are a, a few parents that are worried, that, that do sit back and are not sure about me being there at all. Um, but, you know, often they, they get won round by... by everything I do. Why would they be suspicious of a man working in childcare? Well, I think, I think because we don't have any, peop any men, so many men working in childcare, they're just not used to it. You know, when, at the football club, um, you know, I often get many you know, um, guys saying, well, you know, little jokes about you're gay or maybe you're a paedophile. You know, and, it, and you know, that is simply because they're, you know, of their ignorance, they're blissful in their ignorance, they, they, haven't, been, they haven't had people working with them, men working with them in childcare. Well, it's shocking, isn't yeah. it? That the perception, Kate, from some people is just because a man wants to work in childcare that he might have some sort of ulterior motive for wanting to be there. Is, mm. that, is that something you've heard? Well, we do hear that, that that is the case, but I think, as Dan says also, lots of parents think it's a really positive thing. Um, they think it provides a varied balance in the nursery. It means that dads perhaps feel a bit more comfortable coming into the nursery, getting involved in their child's um, education. So I think if we can challenge some of those stereotypes and get more men coming into the field, then that would start to be less. Well, we learned from a few, the events of a few months ago, those appalling events, that it's not a sort of male-only issue, that even if those you know, suspicions are... Uh, but how does it make you, you know, how do you feel about that when your friends say that to you? I mean, what, what, what's the impact on you there? It's tough, but, you know, you have to realise they haven't had male role models, so they're not, they're not used to it. It's, it's about opening up, um, opening up issues. That's why this Surrey County Council campaign is about getting people into childcare, so this generation of children can see what we see that men can work with young children. Are there things that um, men are better at, for example? Do they have particular skills? Do they do it differently? I don't. I think um, the female practitioners do a fantastic job, but um, we, you know, as, as men, we can sometimes do things that maybe that, that women don't do, like, you know, um, for example, being, you know, being a lion running around on all fours on the, on, on the ground. You know, <laughs> generally, the women wouldn't do that, but, you know, it's something that, 
but <laughs> men generally do. Lots of, lots of dads and uncles do it all the time at home. There's an interesting scheme that's running in Scotland, Men in Child Care Scotland, a really successful project which is aimed at getting more men into childcare. And so far, they've got more than 800 students qualifying in men-only courses so far. So what do you think the rest of the UK needs to do to be more proactive to get more people involved? Well, the Scotland example is great. What they've done is they've uh, targeted advertising at men. So it's, it's messages that are going to actually work for men. Um, they've supported men through training, given them free training in many cases. And once they're actually working in childcare, supporting them through a network, because I think if you're the only man in a nursery, you might feel quite isolated. So having that wider support network so that you can develop in your career could be really important. Yeah. My, my, I know from my own experience when my kids went to uh, nursery, the, the, the one male uh, supervisor they had there was fantastically popular. So uh, the mm. kids certainly don't mm. mind. Definitely. It's, um, it's, it's, it's something, you know, the kids really enjoy, you know, playing, you know, playing as, as, as a man in there. You know, playing different characters, different roles. You know, one day I'm Sportacus, the next day I'm, <laughs> I'm something else. It's fantastic. Well, yes. good luck in your further career and trying to encourage more people into it. Thanks very much for coming on. Thank Sounds you, like you're Kate. having a lot of fun. Yeah, it does, it does. And it goes with schools as well. That's a whole different issue, getting more men into teaching in schools, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you.